you join War Farm Repeat, your next war defense will be guaranteed won by a flying cucumber that is raged. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, my name is Justin from War Farm Repeat and before we begin, I have five things that I need to tell you guys because these are all important, well maybe, yeah, they're all important and so I need to get this out of the way before we begin how to funnel. Alright, the first thing is the volume. Now I understand the volume of these videos are not that high and I understand that's been going on for me as well, I can't really hear myself. You can hear it but you have to put the volume pretty high and that's really unfortunate but I will resolve that very shortly. Alright, the second thing for you Clash Royale lovers, if you like Clash Royale, well guess what, WFR is coming out with a Clash Royale clan very shortly. We used to have one but we're going to be removing it and replacing it with a new one. I don't know if they're going to be changing the name so we're going to be discussing it later on. And if you thought a Clash Royale clan wasn't enough for you, we are going to be having a second clan in Clash of Clans. Basically the second clan is going to act as like a feeder clan and then it's going to transform into a second clan later on. So what we're going to do is that we're going to move the people who are rushed or need help with war over to the second clan so that everyone can relate to each other and we can all learn things together. And then when we get better, it'll basically be as good as the main one and it'll be considered a second clan. The second clan is going to be called Farm War Repeat. It is not created yet, so I'll let you know the clan tag later on. Along with the fact that we do have a second clan, that does mean that we're going to be expanding 50 people to 100 people. So that means we are going to be recruiting and so FWR or Farm War Repeat is going to be recruiting anyone with an invite only of zero required trophies and for War Farm Repeat is 100 plus war stars or a skilled replay shown to me on Skype which you can ask me if you want to be added into our group and it will be also zero required trophies and invite only. Last but not least, I'd like to thank you guys for the support that I've been getting recently on the channel. I hope you guys are excited for the things that are coming up, like improving my volume, two new clans, and also more exciting videos to come. But anyways, with that being said, let's move on to the real part of the video. A true Clash of Clans player has always had a time when their troops went around the base and not inside. Well that is basically the opposite meaning of funneling in Clash of Clans. Basically funneling means to get your troops inside the base or what you can also call it funnel in and then funnel out is when troops go around because you forced it in a way where you deploy your troops to force your troops to go around the base other than inside the base. Funnel in. Funnel out. Simple. The first thing you need to look at is what army you're using. Whether it's a ground army, an air army, or maybe even an army that doesn't need funneling. In a ground army, you probably want to funnel with wizards or bowlers because you don't want your funneling troops to die to an air defense that's not being tanked by a lava hound. Since in your ground army, you're probably using ground troops because that makes more sense. In an air army, you want to use air troops to funnel because if you use ground troops, they'll go down to cannons and mortars that are not already tanked by golem since you are using an air army. Now that you know what troops to funnel with, you should probably take note of what armies don't need funneling at all. I think a pretty obvious one is the witch slap strategy. If you don't know what it is, it's basically witches and healers on the left and right edges of the base, and then you have golems, heroes, jumps to take down the middle, while the other defenses on the edge are distracted by the witches, and it's just like unlimited skeletons and whatever like that. But the thing is, you don't have to funnel the witches because they're supposed to go on the edges, and the other stuff, they go through the middle. So the witches, they kind of act like a funnel for the other troops already so it's like you're funneling without even knowing what funneling means so it, it just it just doesn't really matter at all which slap if you're using which slap click off the video right now 
If you didn't know what Witch Slap was, then you probably thought that balloons, giants, golems, that kind of stuff that target defenses only, don't really need funneling at all. And guess what? You're actually right. They don't need funneling at all. However, the only thing that could bring them back is when defenses are outside of the wall so they can still go in some random direction. But once that defense is gone and all those defenses outside the walls are gone, then you can continue and you can funnel in. And I'm going to explain how to get them in right now. Alright, so first let's take a look at how to funnel a ground army. So for this, we're going to be using Gova, but you can use any ground army like Go Vape or anything like that. That's not Witch Slap. So let's do this. I also have a skeleton spell because you can use this to act like wizards as a funneling troop, but you don't really have to do that. So first thing you want to do, put down golems because this will distract all the defenses. And then once that's done, put down some wizards and this will take out the edge trash buildings. The reason why you want to do this is because you don't want the Valkyries to run around the base. So you might as well get these done by the wizards before the Valkyries do. All right. So once that's done, also you can use the skeleton spell like right there where the buildings were, but you don't have to. If you don't want to, because you should bring a poison for clan castle troops. I'm not bringing one because there is no clan castle troops in this case, but that doesn't matter. Now, if you mess up, you really gotta make sure that you bring a jump spell or an earthquake spell. Oh, four earthquake spells, sorry. And then, um, yeah, the wall breakers, they're gonna actually be doing two layers because of the golem. So they are super helpful for this you want to rage them and do whatever. But the main point is that I got them into the base and that's what you're trying to focus on. Of course, don't use the same composition as I am for the spells. This is just an example. The next one I'll use a jump spell and the next one I'll use a quake spell. So I'm just gonna end this one and move on to the next one. All right, for this one, we're gonna be using a jump spell and four earthquake spells and the skeleton spell for funneling. No wizards, well actually I'll use wizards on one side, but no wall breakers and just like some wizards. So golems and then once these are distracted, that archer tower and then those archer towers. So I'm gonna put some wizards there, take those out so the Valkyries don't go around and then right over here, might put a wizard right there, but skeleton spell that will help with the funnel. It's a really interesting strategy if you want to try this, but there's a lot of times where if there's not going to be fully distracted, then skeletons are not a good idea, but it's fun. I think I just wanted to put that out there in case you wanted to try them. Now you're going to want to put down your Valkyries and I'm going to put down a jump spell and four earthquake spells because this also works to break down the walls to get them closer. In my opinion, I think the best way is to use wall breakers and then a jump, but if you're at tunnel eight, I think four earthquake spells is the best because there's not many layers for a Town Hall 8 base. They don't have that many walls compared to a Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 10. So I just think that if you use four Earthquake spells, you can immediately get to the core of the base and it'll get the job done. Now, obviously this isn't perfect. It's not doing that much damage, mainly because I'm not using good spells. Like these don't go well together at all, but that's just an example. And yeah, we'll move on to air troops. All right, so now we're gonna be using a dragon army. This of course works for mass baby dragons and electro dragons. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a couple of dragons, just do some damage. But the, th the main thing that you wanna do is put baby dragons or minions on the side because this will take out these trash buildings so that the dragons don't go around just like Valkyries from before. And now you can put down the rest of your dragons and I'm using lightning spells just so that it's not as irritating to get the funnel done. And of course, a lot of people use dragons for, uh, dragons with lightning, sorry. So we'll take those out. And you can also use your heroes for funneling. I forgot to mention that. Um, for a queen walk, you can actually use baby dragons. I find that the most effective and minions. So yeah, but you can use your heroes for dragon funneling. Depends on what you want to do. But as you can see, the dragons are all going inside the base because the baby dragons, they took out these trash buildings on the edge. So they're not going around. One dragon is already on the town hall, as you can see. And this is just going really, really well. Of course, if you're doing like a more strategic war attack, then you probably want to use something more than just mass dragons and lightning. But I'm just saying this is a really good way to get your dragons into the base. All you gotta do is put baby dragons or minions on the side, take out those trash buildings, and then put all your dragons on the top, and they will get the work done. 70% two star, that is really, really good.
Now, sometimes you might run into a base that may look more spread out in a way that you don't really want to use wall breakers, jump, or earthquake. I'll put that up on the screen right now, and it's more like a spread out base that I like to call it. And for this kind of bases, I would use Valkyries or a Witch Slap, which is what I used. As you can see on the screen, an example of Witch Slap. So in this case, I would not use any of the three wall breakers, jump, or four earthquake spells. I would just straight up go in and destroy it. Do I think that you should use spread out bases? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on what you want to defend against. Against a witch slap, you probably don't want to use a spread out base, but that's just what I think. I'm not a professional at making bases against witch slap. Even though I am good at building bases, I would say, witch slap is kind of new to me. But um, yeah, in a spread out base, you probably don't need any of the three. But you probably still need to funnel the troops inside, because there's still a chance that your troops could go inside those walls. And now, for the final question. Does it always work? Well, it depends, actually. It depends if there is a ton of trash buildings, if those trash buildings are really tanky like storages, or if there's just like no trash buildings at all and they're all inside the base because it's just a terrible base, which I will again put on the screen a base that has no trash buildings on the outside of the walls. So if you see a base like that, it is always going to 100% funnel in. And if there's a trash building and it's a storage and it's gonna take a long time to take that out, you may funnel in even though you might not have enough time to even destroy the whole base. So you might not even get a three star only because of a long funnel. So when you do this, you have to be really quick. And that's why I say that baby dragons are my favorite troop for funneling. But with that being said, I think that's it for the video. That is the full guide of how to funnel. In 2018, there might be any new troops that come out in the future. But for now, that is the full guide for how to funnel.